TCU got annihilated in the national championship game. The NFL wildcard weekend, and who is going to be the new Browns defensive coordinator? Like and subscribe. Leave a comment. It's TMDE Sports. What up, YouTube? What up, Facebook? And all the social media networks. Happy New Year. It's TMD Esports, where we talk about everything that's going on in the sports world and our beloved <laughs> Cleveland Browns. <laughs> Got to introduce the cast real quick. Christy Acuity is in the building. Christy, let them know what's good, baby. Thank you. I actually, I am I feel weird. I'm wearing a Cavs shirt right now. I don't have on anything Browns, but I was like, well, Yay. we don't have any more games to play. So here we go. Go Cavs. Yay. It's Cav season. No, no yeah. doubt. <laughs> My brother Aaron Sims is in the building. Aaron, let him know what's good, baby. What's up? It's all good. Let's get it on. All right. No doubt. No doubt. Oh, let me make sure I click that. Woo, I didn't want to go to the other screen. All right, y'all. <laughs> as, as, as you will know, early this week, Monday, TCU got their ass annihilated <laughs> by Georgia. And I wanted to talk to the cast. We got a problem. When are we going to get a real playoff system y'all I, I, who i'm going for Aaron, you want to go first what's up with this shit man how you feel um i just think it should be expanded i mean if you look at it ohio state just lost by a kick and michigan oh. did, didn't show up mm -hmm. you know the way that they should you know what i mean i think if they would have gave ohio state you know that targeting penalty when harrison got hurt or even let harrison come back in the game i think ohio state easily could have won but i really think um a two two game playoff is not long enough i think they need to go to 16 maybe make some of the bowl games the wild card games or, or whatnot correct yeah and give these cats a uh opportunity i know you got smaller schools but Go ahead, Chris. I'm going to let you go ahead. Go do your thing. I'll take it. <laughs> no, I agree with Aaron. I think that there should be a sweet 16, you know, just like they have with basketball. Let's have a playoff system, like, for real. We only, I mean, uh, you know, they have, like, the Big Ten championships and the Pac-12 championship and everything, but they, that doesn't lead to anything. They just won their division. Big deal. Let's make that into a playoff series. Like, come on. People want more college football. Let's give it to them. Yeah, I like the way the state, they do with high school football. Like, I, I wouldn't mind it being regions and things like that. Like, 16 from each region and, you know, break it down. Have a longer playoff. You know, have a real short um, conference conference um, series and then go to the playoffs after that. I think it'd be more interesting. Yeah, so do y'all feel like it's a it's a money thing? The reason why we haven't went to this type of system yet, you know, I mean, I, I can see they could still make money as far as um, like you said, make the wild card, make the wild card games those Big Ten, the Mac. Look at how many more Dr Pepper commercials they can make. Yeah, so and yeah. And, and, and they don't play a lot of. It's not like the NFL; they don't play a lot of, you know, seventeen games. I don't see. I, I think a lot of those kids would appreciate. And they and they get more college film. You get more film. They get to see these players because these are supposed to be the future of the NFL. So I don't see why they can't go to the system. I don't like this committee bullshit. It's trash, straight up. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so, something new. Yeah, no doubt. So I mean, so how many teams are they introducing? Another team, two more teams next year. Yeah, next they're putting in two more teams this next season. So it's, I mean, it's a little bit of an improvement, but. No, not much of one. I don't like it. I think that, you know, we need to up the games more. Let's get 16 in there. What, they going to have two buys? And are they going to have um, two two teams with buys? And then they're going to have a wild card? Right. Because, I mean, how are you going to break down six teams? Yeah, that's, that would have to be how it is. Six teams. It seems like they would at least have eight. You know what I mean? It's yeah. Just, yeah. Make it a little bit more even. They're not. Yeah, and, and they're, they the they're supposed to be college people. Why aren't they using their brains? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I found out some of the smartest motherfuckers is the dumbest motherfuckers. Just because you went, hey, we got an Ivy Leaguer right now. He can't coach for shit. Anyway. <laughs> Hell now. Come on now. We're going to get to that. Hey, hey, hey. I'm sorry, Steph. Kevin. I, Kevin, if you listen, I love you. I do. I want you to succeed. But, bro, you got to give up play calling, man. Let it go, man. Focus on the team, bro. But anyway. 
<laughs> we got to get to the next. Back to the basement, Kev. No doubt. Yeah, back to the basement. <laughs> As you well know, this weekend marks the beginning of the NFC or the AFC, the NFL, excuse me, wild card games. And we got to talk about these teams that's playing. Some people play on Saturday, some people say on Sunday, and we got a Monday night game. So first, we're going to talk about Seattle versus the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, Christy, who is your favorite in this game? I got the Niners on this one, definitely. I got Bosa, the Niners. I mean, it's no question. I mean, I think the Niners are going to take it easy to the Seahawks. Wow. For sure. All right. All right. All right. My brother Aaron, who you got, Pippen? Yeah, I like. I got to agree with Christy. I like the Niners. I like Christian McCaffrey. I like that pickup midseason, you know, for the uh, San Francisco. And I think they're going to go ahead and roll mm-hmm. past Seattle. No doubt. Yeah, that boy Purdy, man. I don't know. See, where the, that's what I'm saying. Mm. You don't have to have a first round pick. Where the fuck did he come from? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he, they be right. balling out. It's just like, give these cats a chance. But it is what it is. All right. The Chargers versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. Aaron, who you got? Uh, give me the Sandy. Give me the Chargers, the LA Chargers. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I feel you. I feel you. Christy, who I you see, got? See the upset. I'm going with Jacksonville. I like the underdog story. I, of course, love Trevor Lawrence. I think he is great. I love watching him. He's exciting. Yeah, I'm sure He's you fun. Like with his long, little pretty hair. <laughs> oh, I could care less about that. Actually, you know what? A friend of ours, he lives out in Oregon. His son is called Mini Trevor Lawrence. He's a quarterback, and he was playing um, flag football. He was at um, some recent seven-on-sevens and some quarterback camps, and all the kids around were calling him uh, Mini Trevor Lawrence. But this kid's Mm. got an Instagram, and he is amazing. I'm going to have to share his Instagram with you guys because, like, his targeting with the football is great. But, no, I don't like Trevor Lawrence because of his hair. I just like his (laughs) I like his attitude. Like I a, like exciting like, people. It's like, a, it's like a white <laughs> Kendall. But anyway, um, I'm gonna oh, roll geez. with I'm gonna roll with Jacksonville, man, because oh, because I'm the ball seriousness. He's playing better. He he's playing, and Doug Peterson is a damn good coach. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They, what the Eagles did to him that was some bullshit. So I'm gonna roll with. I, don't get me wrong, Herbert's that dude, but Mike. I think Mike Williams is hurt, so I yeah. think Jacksonville got a good shot at that one. So I'm gonna roll I'm with Travis that. Travis Ntn. Travis Ntn. Mm-hmm. I like him. <laughs> no doubt. Damn, we just jumped to the ASC. I forgot one. Oh, oh, those are Saturday. Those are the two Saturday games. All right, so we're going to get to the Sunday okay. games. Ugh, the Miami Dolphins versus the Buffalo. You already know who I'm rolling with on that one. Who y'all rolling with on that? Miami Buffalo. Buffalo. I think that's Buffalo. unanimous. <laughs> no doubt. No Buffalo. doubt. Yeah. Oh, better. Yeah, they got a lot with Hamlin. Got The way he got hit, that's a shame. Shout out to his Oh, my God. Man. Oh, my God, dude. All right. The, hey, the shout Giants. out to Bill's Mafia, too. <laughs> Bills Mafia. Bills Mafia. They're, they're second best tailgaters to Browns fans. So, you know, I know a lot of Browns fans, since we're not in the playoffs, a lot of Browns fans are rooting for the Bills. So, uh, Damar Hamlin, that didn't hurt, you know, their chances of a lot of people rooting for them as a team. But, yeah, I'm going with the Bills. All right, yeah, I remember no, growing no. up for years, the Bills used to have inner squad scrimmages with the Browns every year, you know, mm-hmm. with Joe Cribs and all them. So, yeah, I got a, I got a uh, place in my heart for the Bills and pull up for them. I think they're going to get to the Super Bowl. This year. I think they're going to do it, you know, but mm-hmm. it is what it is. I would Ooh, like it. Excuse me. All right. That next game, the Giants versus the <clears throat> Vikings. Wow. Ooh. Both of these Ooh. teams I thought was going to be ass, but I'm going to let y'all go first. Mm. Who want to go first on that you one? You go, Aaron. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with the Vikings simply because um, I just feel like they fell off a little bit as the year went on. But they're a team that believe in each other and they fight to the end. And I really think the Giants have overachieved. If you would have told me the Giants was gonna be as good as they were this year, I would have yeah. said, "Man, you crazy." Um, I think them getting to the playoffs is enough for them. But I do think the Vikings got to win in them, so I'm gonna go with the Vikings. All right, all right, all right. No doubt. Okay. Ugh, I don't know how the fuck this happened. Baltimore, excuse, I can't spit it out. Baltimore, it's trash, versus the Bengals. Now, who y'all mm-hmm. got on that? Man, oh, the Bengals. <laughs> They're the lesser of the two evils, right? <laughs> no, no, that's, that's man. That's that just 
that really pisses me off. Yeah. <laughs> if if Pittsburgh would have made it too, if Pittsburgh would have made it too, oh. I really, I really oh would have Oh my gosh, insulted. can you imagine? Mm. Oh, I've never seen no nine and something teams like get in like this is crazy, man. But we 17 we had... games. Yeah, we had it. We had it. All right. And the last What's one. Tampa's record? Hmm? What's Tampa's yeah, record? They're like nine and something, ain't they? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They, didn't win, they didn't win 10 games, That's but it is what it is. You know All what right. though? I yeah. didn't I didn't pick I'm getting Baltimore. Lamar Jackson gonna come back and get busy. <gasps> Give me Baltimore. What? what? He, I don't think he's playing, bro. Is he gonna he, play? I he heard he's playing. not playing. Oh, he's I not heard playing? He's, no. Yeah. Oh, they say he, he bro, they like he's pretty much done there. Oh yeah, they said he ain't coming back. He pit, you know, like fuck y'all. He at almost. Not like the rest oh. of the season or like after this week, like at all done. Bye. Oh yeah, because he got that. Um, he's his it's his current square gear, isn't it? Mm. Yep. Oh, well, well, but, but hey, they, they, well, bingo! <laughs> I could have let it. I could have let, <laughs> <ride, bro. Bingo. laughs> let it ride. No doubt. All right, well, that changes but, everything. <laughs> no doubt. Last but not least, the Cowboys versus the Buccaneers. Oh, what y'all got? Man, I gotta go bro. with Deep Zeke. Feed Zeke. Uh, Feed Zeke. Okay, first of all, because number one, I'm a Buckeye, so I'm going to root yeah. for the Cowboys because I love Zeke. And I want to see Tom Brady get knocked out. Yeah. It's about time <laughs> that him and Aaron Rodgers are not in the playoffs, okay? <laughs> right, no doubt. Aaron, what you got, bro? It's like it's like freaking frack. They don't mean this. They don't mean that. I don't like name one of them. But if, if I, I really don't like Dallas, but I gotta pick Dallas. You know, just because. Yes. You yes. know, I just. You, Use Zeke. Yeah, Use Zeke's him. on it's the okay. team. Zeke's Use on him. the team. That's what. Yep. Yep. All right. Well, oh wait. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go against y'all. And the only <gasps> it's because. Dak chokes. He's a choke artist, man. He can't pull it out, and he played like shit last week. We beat Washington, <laughs> goddammit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm uh, rolling with Tampa Bay, not to say that Tom Brady, Tom is not playing that great, but I just don't trust that. I don't trust the Cowboys at all. So oh, I'm, wow. I'm rolling with Tampa Bay on that one, bro. Uh, I mean, you hear, you hear that Damon Air? You hear that Damon Air in the second that's hey, 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 You hear that, baby? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck them, fuck them, yeah, fuck them both cow bitches. What they call the cow bitches? That should be yeah, killing. Nah, I got to go. Right, right. Ooh, excuse me. Mm. Yeah, see, you think that I would root for all the Florida teams, but I'm only pulling for one this season. Well, mm, hey, so, it is. I don't like any of the Florida teams. Oh, wow. <laughs> no doubt. All right, y'all. The moment of truth has arrived. Woo, as you well know. And like I said, for the last two goddamn years, Joe <laughs> yeah, I was at Hopkins. I had his baggage claim ticket. I gave it to him, and he got on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> You're so right. It is, but, but no, I, I don't want to see nobody, but he had to go. So who do y'all feel of, of the candidates that's been selected? Who do you guys feel would be the best defense coordinator, the Browns, for the situation right now? Well, are they done selecting candidates? I mean, is that, that like the list hasn't been fulfilled? Yeah. So, I well, mean, like there's a yeah. lot of coaches out there that we could grasp. I mean, um, I've. You want Lovey? You said you wanted Lovey. I love Lovey. I love Lovey. I love Lovey like when he too. was with the Bears. Yeah. So, um, you know, he's available. Um, I like Brian Flores. He's hungry, he's young. Um, I think that he would put some pep in our defense's step and give them the sense of urgency that I've been like screaming for all season. Mm -hmm. Um, I can't remember our former defensive coordinator's name off the top of my head. He was our interim head coach after we got rid of what was his name? Yeah, Greg Williams. Yes. I don't think they love him back. I don't think they, they, for right now, they got Schwartz. They wanted Flores. The list is not fulfilled. Yeah, it's not fulfilled. The list is not fulfilled. Right now. Yeah. I mean, there's a... I'm just putting it out there. I don't think they're going to break Greg. Greg was a motherfucker when he was here, dog. Yeah. I, I don't know it, if he could get along with, with the organization. Yeah. Yeah. It's all changed. Yeah. He, he, he He's not on that, that analytical bullshit. He ain't on that. But see, that's what they need, though. They need... Maybe that's what we coach. need. You know, somebody kick them in the nuts and tell them, I'm not playing with you. I'll put your ass on the bench. They need me as their positivity coach. (laughs) (laughs) I've created a new position. 
<laughs> Hold on. Uh, I, I tweeted him. I said, hey. You know, this is, you know, the ahead, questions bro. I have don't even, you know, it's not even a <laughs> defense. It's like, would you trade Miles Garrett to Chicago for the first pick in the draft? Oh, God. Hell no. You wouldn't? Would you give up your second round draft pick for um, D Hop? Possibly. Mm. I don't possibly think possibly to that one, but I wouldn't give Miles away. I think I do. I think I do both of them. I think I do both of them. I think I trade wow. Miles for the first pick in the draft wow. because his attitude is just not that of a champion. Yeah. And I, and I who, think I would go ahead and get D Hop, Miles Garrett. Oh you, wow! A, a real leader doesn't come in with 15 minutes left and is not the first person to lead. You know, you Correct. come in and you set an example, and you know you keep the team together. That defense, um, years in a row, two years in a row, we seen the locker room just going shambles. You know what I mean? And when mm -hmm. your best player on the team is walking around complaining and stuff like that, you know, I, I don't think you'll get a player as good as Miles. But then you ask yourself, you know, how good is he? You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So if I'm coming with a new defense, um, you know, I'm looking for a um, young pass rusher. Why you know? isn't, yeah, what's going on to where he's not pulling the defense together? He's selfish. He all about his numbers. <laughs> you know, he automatically is saying, give me, give me, give me the weak tackle. I'm going to put Clowney on the hard one so I can get my numbers up instead of saying I'm the best and That's I'm going to beat the best. That's what he said. That's what he said. Instead of saying I'm the best and I'm going to beat the best. He's the last person to come in. I mean, he doing stuff, you know, off the, off the field. I think he want to be an artist or a poet more than he wants to be a Hall of Fame football player. So, Ooh. you know, uh, much as I like Miles, as good as I think he is, um, you know, check your, check your attitude at the door or get rid of him because... He didn't pull the team together the last two years, I don't think. And that's what a real leader would have did. I think if we would have had J.J. Watt in his prime, T.J. Watt in his prime, any of the greats in their prime, they pulled their team together. you never seen a player as good as Miles Garrett so divided from his defense. That's what I'm saying. That's just, I'm, I'm just checking and, you know, just starting to see that. Like, he's just, he's all about his numbers. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wow. I have oh, noticed right. that, like, when the defense is celebrating after, you know, certain plays, it seems <laughs> like the secondary is, like, super close. And it's like, you know, you always see them, but then you don't see much from Miles or Clowney in, like, the celebrating and the high fiving, you know? Right. And the defense tackles. Defensive tackles were were crud this year. I mean, you don't have the best player on defense on your defensive line, and they don't pull up the rest of the defensive line. That's all I'm saying. It's just an observation. It could I could not know shit, but I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> I get rid of him for the first pick. Maybe if they might get the first and second round from uh, from the Bears for Miles, because Miles is proven. I'm just yeah, saying. I don't know if I would do that because then you don't know what you're gonna get. Like at least with Miles, you know what you've got. Yeah, you get 10 good plays a year. <laughs> Damn. Wow. You make 10, 10 good plays a year. Wow. He, he's not high on tackles. He's not good against the run. He's not high on tackles. Uh, he overshoots shit trying to make the sack every time. No, he but doesn't you know even what? He does draw two players each play. Well, at least. So, so would anybody who dominates. That means somebody should have got their ass in there and made the sack if it wasn't for him there. You know? uh -oh. Right. We lost Aaron. Yeah. Aaron, uh oh. Bro. Aw, oh, man. What the hell? <sighs> Damn. <laughs> we, <laughs> we thought it was only JB. <laughs> it, hey, it is what it is. All right, y'all. Well, that's yeah, it. So, so. Aaron probably edit this out. I don't know. Hopefully. All right, y'all. Well, those are my thoughts on that. No doubt. Yeah. It's the end of the show. So, hey, it All is right. what it is. I, oh, he's back. <laughs> oh, I just I just blinked out. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe but, uh, that's Miles Garrett, and I'm saying, shut up, boy. You get oh. <laughs> <laughs> the, but, uh, the powers that be are telling you, yeah, stop that. We still got yeah. it. <laughs> hey, you got to be positive. Yeah. What? See? Right. She's, a positive. She's a positivity queen. All right, y'all. Well, I was going to say, I want, I would like to see Brian Flores based on his experience and what he had, you know, he did in Miami. And I was willing to roll with that. I don't know too much. Mayo, I know he was a great linebacker. Um, but I'd rather have Schwartz. I've seen enough of him in Detroit. I wasn't feeling that. So, But, hey, we don't know. 
I think they want somebody analytically based, and it is what it is. All right, we about to hit the twenty minute mark. Boom! It is what it is. I want to thank my my co hosts Aaron Sims and Christy Acuity for coming on the show. Everybody, TMDE, mm -hmm. Jake B, uh, Pete Barker, uh, 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 my, my silent partner Nick Drake, and everybody else. And uh, shout out to uh, 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 can you spit it out? Show dog. It is what it is. <laughs> and uh, like I say every week, go Browns, bitches, and we'll see y'all next week. And happy New Year. Peace. Peace. Love.